See pregnancy test here. Me not pregnant. Come look, come look. See there. Huh? See me belly here. See me belly here. Like, you do not love when people make puppies out of their bum buck like self. It shouldn't be this easy. But damn sh**, yeah, man. I f come off of me, yeah, man. That's about the music. Blessed day, my people saying. Today's video, we're going to talk about female artist Jada Kingdom sending a strong message after pregnancy rumors start to circulate again. Jada Kingdom is very upset, my people. Trust me. I see a side of Jada Kingdom where we've not really seen in a long time, so we definitely need to stick around, is it? Also, I'm going to talk about a beryllium security guard who was accidentally caught up and taken out. Also, I'm going to talk about Dancehall Queen Spice purchasing a property in Singapore. Also, I'm going to talk about a popular TikToker named Tarzan allegedly gets caught on camera cleaning a rifle. And when I talk about rifle, we're not talking about G-U-N, is it? Also, I'm going to talk about Isat Buchanan sending a serious message about cartel freedom and also we see a female artist near Munchery send some positive message towards Vibes Cartel and his upcoming appeal is it. Also we're going to talk about a fitness owner basically blasting Ziggy Marley and the production team for leaving out Cindy and her son Damian Marley from out of the Bob Marley movie is it. Also we're going to talk about TJ's I Am Chippy EP debuting on the Billboard Reggae chart definitely a good look and also we're going to talk about Futa Hype reacting to a post that was made as it relates to bounty killer giving him props in regards to him knowing Movado. In other words, then a footer, if I never for footer hype, Movado would know a bounty killer. You understand what I mean, some people? Well, maybe it would have eventually happened, but I don't know what I mean. Anyway, people, before we go further into the topics, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that. All right, people, first thing we're going to talk about is Jada Kingdom Zine. Now, yesterday, a photo, not photo, a video went viral upon the internet, Zine. And the video was with Jada Kingdom and her boyfriend Pardy. Now, in the video, you could have seen Pardy I rubbed down her belly. You know, I'm trying to kiss her up. And you know, I'm a show all the affection in public and thing. Seem like the man is really sprung on Jada Kingdom. But anyway, um, when time the video they come out now, it go viral as me say. And even the foreign black sites them pick it up and they matter about Jada Kingdom pregnant. Now, you know, Jada Kingdom, she not really address every single rumors that is out there about her. But because this one kind of seem a bit, where they say, wild in her way. You know, she came out and she actually addressed it as emo people. And she's, I guess, upset that persons are very gullible. And, you know, it's like she'll say, yo, if you don't want to believe it, you don't believe it. You understand what I mean? say? She definitely seemed like she feel away, way, you know, because people were more asking her about the whole pregnancy thing rather than ask her about her music and them things. They see it. Even though when she come up on the live, she did a promote one new song where she have out. Um, and she did promote the um, big whatever what's up the what's up song pan the dirty money reading but anyway my people me could get to a Jada Kingdom officer now only can tell me if you don't believe what she has said in relation to the pregnancy thing if she try to hide it even though if you're pregnant you only can hide it for so long cause your belly are going to eventually show but listen to what Jada Kingdom officer my thing is this anything what them say or, let, me tell, let me tell you guys this and I hope you take me very seriously when I say this Anything that you see, anything that you hear, and anything that, you know, you're curious, but any, any thoughts or that comes on the head, anything, any question and whatever, any rumors, I saw it go. I saw it go. I'm wanting to just, yes, I saw it go, and I saw it go. Anything, I mean anything under the sun. I saw it go. I saw it go. Anything I saw it go. I, I promise you I saw it go. It should not be this easy. People should not be this gullible. It should not be this fucking wow. It's too it's too easy. It's too easy. It shouldn't be this easy. You guys are drop. You, it should not be this easy. It's too easy. I mean, I understand how some people broke. It's too easy to go over. It's too easy. It's too easy. So if somebody if somebody broke right now, I them one broke because with the with the with the live with them e that it's too easy. It's too easy. It's too easy. Too easy. Way 
too easy. See pregnancy test ya, me not pregnant. Come look, come look. See there, huh? See me belly ya, see me belly ya. Like, you do lost love when people make puppies out of their bum buck like self. It shouldn't be this easy. But damn sh** ya, man. I f*** come off of me ya, man. That's about the music. As I think, that's that we are talking about. Like, not everyone has your best intentions. No, no, at this point, who the fuck does? Nobody does. It's just dumb. <laughs> Stupid and dumb. My life is so stupid sometimes, bro. Like, what? Just love me, man. Like, my God, doctor, go test my body if it's real. See, you see, you see the test, you see the test, yeah. Test my bottom if it's real. Test my body. See, pregnant, test, yeah. Test me, then me pregnant. See, my pussy, yeah. Test it if it died. See, my pussy, yeah. What? Please. Everybody in the world, line up one by one. Come test me. See me, yeah. Like, you gotta explain till you're tired. Like, shut up, leave me alone. Next. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, my people, so that is what you have to say, Z. The live was very interesting. She also spoke about um, record label. You know, people said she get dropped from the label. We're going to talk about um, some of them things in our next video, because you know we can't put everything in our one video, you see, my people. But let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Vibes Cartel attorney Isat Buchanan, who is currently in the UK. You understand, people? Of course, you don't know the reason why I'm over there, because tomorrow is day one i guess you can say of this whole vibes cartel appeal situation is it but the man goes so boom and post a video kind of seem like he must send a strong message in the video and also the caption and you don't know he is very optimistic in regards to vibes cartel freedom and thing you understand more people so he put up a video with the song i think unstoppable did a play night you don't know that vibes cartel song the bad bad song unstoppable that alone can tell the same i'm gonna know say a straight victory in this case you understand more people but remember on the clip quick as a matter of fact and then we'll move on to what he posted as the caption mm -hmm. if a youth unstoppable turn away a train every zing fence every lane he a aim for the sky like plane Yeah, man. So you see the little caption up at the top say, when the Gaza fans make it known, hashtag God and time is it. And you see the big Gaza and thing. But anyway, the caption him say, the calm before the storm, facts, not feelings, both the slaves take notes, hashtag human rights, hashtag constitutional rights, hashtag God and time, hashtag world boss is free. When you hear that part, them people, world boss is free. Remember, you know, the man have put out some things in the atmosphere because he want the boss to be freed. You understand? So, you know, it seems like Isaac Buchanan is sending a clear indication, say, the mother boss of the case, you see it. So, you know, as an attorney, you know, you have to feel very confident in regards to your client, you see me? I'm going to feel like attorneys, even if they're not really confident, <laughs> they have to put on that little facade, you understand my people? But anyway, remember when you think about this, and also, remember me telling you, say, a female artist near Moncherry, Zayn, she goes to my make a post in regards to Vibes Cartel, you know? She does have sent out a little bit of positive message and stuff like that, so basically she said, sending lots of positivity, love and light to my superhero, Vibes Cartel and his alleged co-accused that they triumph and win this battle. I don't know why she said alleged co-accused, but anyway, she go on for say, sometimes God give the strongest soldiers the greatest battles. I love you, teacher, to the moon and back, and I pray one day I can meet you soon. And she put up some holy emojis and thing. Um, hashtag free world boss, free vibes cartel, Adija Palmer, teacher, one bag of emoji, so not emoji, hashtag. So that's what she have to say, Zima people. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Dancehall Queen Spice, who revealed to her fans that she actually purchased a piece of property in a Singapore, is it? So Spice is currently in Singapore and you know she never really give the fans them like an up close look but the place where she purchased the property at um i think them name rainwood hamilton when you can see it in the back rainwood hamilton scores or something like that i actually google it and it seemed like it might be something like an apartment she purchased i don't really know my people i don't really know but you know the queen posts that 
and basically she said checking on my property in Singapore so of course you know a lot of persons you know I congratulate her and thing and from her something good and it have to do with the queen you know I have to talk about it is it so congratulations Spice um, I guess one day you can maybe do a live and give the fans them an up close look on your property and all of that is it and it's good for actually to spread your wings all over this world you understand because we know you have your house in a um, Atlanta, we know you have house in a Jamaica, and now we know say your own property in a Singapore. You see me? I wonder why she chose this or do. Hmm, kind of weird, but anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So, the next thing we're gonna talk about is some sad news that we're getting as it relates to a beryllium security who was conned up, accidentally conned up at that and taken out. You understand, my people? So, what I'm gonna do right now is actually, um, get to the article so you can understand what's going on and as usual you can tell me anything about this unfortunate situation is it so the article is saying beryllium guard deed after apparent accidental carning a beryllium security guard is deed following an apparent accidental carning near the company's blake lane headquarters in kingston on tuesday observer online understand that a gun went off and hit one of the guards in front of the premises he was taken to the hospital where he was pronounced deed D. Yes, it so not oh hold on it's a major investigation into the incident is underway police are at the scene more details later so i guess we'll get some more information but this is very unfortunate boy oh boy beryllium that company cannot get a break we always like every single month um you know at least one thing i have to talk about beryllium when it's not them i get robbed is something go off remember the other day i think i did beryllium too accidentally um they can a woman like they did the, the tool go off and thing um, i try remember i think it's the same beryllium i don't want to tell a life on a company you know, but either way you know the company are just well, i don't know Anyway, my people, very unfortunate situation. So, when you can tell me anything about this in the comment section, all right? So, the next thing we're going to talk about is a popular TikToker named Tarzan, right? A lot of one is supposed to be familiar with him because I think at one point, him and the girl named Ivani was close. And I believe Ivani did even have a crush on him, I believe, allegedly. But anyway, it seemed like the two of them not really talk like that much. Or maybe they don't really talk to each other on social media. They more do it through personal platforms or whatever. But anyway, it is alleged that this youth here, they're on a tape, a uh, cleaner rifle. You understand, my people? Now, I don't see the tape, but I see every single body I talk about it over pink wall. Me see it in a thumbnail, but I don't see the video itself. And really and truly, I don't want to see the video because I don't love man. And I don't say allegedly because at times we see where things come out where people resemble people. So I don't know. I'm not going to say it's I'm 100% sure say so I aimed upon it because I don't watch the video. But based on people all over social media right now, you know, me even see people and make it be known say this youth here private up him, um, him TikTok page and you know, him turn off the comments them and all of that. You understand my people? So, you know, I'm not sure if that is a sign of guilt. I don't know. But, you know, once you go viral, especially for something like this, um, people are going to in your comment section. You understand what I say? But this kind of work, well, not kind of. If I really him on the tape, this worst, this are the worst way for go viral, are the worst way. And that's just my personal opinion. Now I try to tell somebody how to live them life. But because me as a person who believe in a certain things, then of course you can understand why I feel this way. You understand? Me believe in a man to woman and them things. So that is what I have to say about this situation. And the only reason why I'm even not talking about it is just because him, you know, well known and Every time you go up on TikTok, you go see it. Believe me, once you go over TikTok and make up a scroll, you go see some meme or somebody at talk about him or something we have to do with this youth here. You see it? So, only can tell me anything about this in the comment section. And we just go move on to the next topic now. So, TJ Up Top Boss, I Am Chippy EP, has debuted on the Billboard charts, my people. And you don't know, so we have to talk about the good things like I always say, because we can't only dwell upon negativity. We have to shine some light upon good things who are going on, is it? So, I actually get to an article that was posted by Dan Salmag. And it also, in the same article, they talk about um, YG Marley's, is it? So, let me get to this story right about now, is it? 
So it's a YG Marley's Praise Ja enters top 10 in the UK. TJ's I Am Chippy EP debuts on Billboard Reggae Chart. YG's Marley infectious debut single Praise Ja in the Moonlight has entered the top 10 on the official UK singles chart, while dancehall artist TJ's debut EP I Am Chippy has made an entry on the Billboard Reggae Albums chart. Praise Ja in the Moonlight has taken the world by storm since it was independently released on December the 27, 2023 on the UK singles chart dated February the 14th. The song has moved up to number 9 up from number 20 last week TJ's I Am Chippy EP has opened at number 9 on the Billboard Reggae album chart. Released on February the 2nd through Warner Records, the 9-track project sold 1,000 in combined sales and streaming equivalent units during its first week in the US. According to data provided to Dan Salmark from Billboard sales track Illuminate, this includes 200 in pure album sales and 1.1 million on-demand streams. The EP, which includes TJ 2023 It Drift as a bonus track, and its remix with Davido has so far recorded 15,000 units in the US, 22 million in on-demand streams. The project was co-executive produced by Shaggy and Sharon Burke and also featured collaborations with Tommy Lee Sparta, Skilly Beng, Baker Maledan, Jaden and Quada. Bob Marley and the Whalers legend hold a top spot on the reggae album chart for 213 non-consecutive weeks. Shaggy Best of Shaggy, the Bombastic Collection, Sean Paul Dotty Classic Collection, and UB 40's Greatest Hits are at numbers 2 through 4. Stick Figures 3 of album, World on Fire, Set in Stone, and Wisdom are at number 5, 7, and 8 respectively. Sean Paul Dotty Rock album is at number 6, while Bob Marley and the Whalers Eastman Vibration is at number 10. So big up TJ said speed, you understand youth. Um yeah do it, you know, just continue to do it and really and truly people. We know one thousand album sales is not the greatest amount but you know Missy Artist put out album and uh, fifty copy them sell and you know less than hundred copy so you know, I just wish Dance did I get some bigger numbers though, but I just love to give thanks, you know, at least he make it on Billboard. Some albums even come out last year when not even they dream for see Billboard, so, you know, still have to just give thanks to yeah, my people. That's it. So let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is a fitness owner where own the popular um, fitness place named Spartan Zine, my people. Now, he is currently speaking out as it relates to um, the whole Bob Marley movie and things, Zine, my people, um, because I guess Cindy Breakspear wasn't in it and her son, Damien, were not in it. And when obviously them don't mean them personally, but I guess no one played their role as if they never exist in a Bob life. But may I get to the post that was made by Spartan, right, my people? So him say, I am very disturbed by the fact that Cindy and her son Damien were excluded from the current movie on the life of Bob Marley. In 1976, Cindy was undoubtedly the most beautiful girl in Jamaica. Indeed, she won the titles of Miss Universe Bikini and Miss World during that year. I met Cindy early in 1976 on Helsha Beach. She was with her friend Patsy Yuen, who had placed third at the Miss World in 1973. I was struck by her beauty and immediately started pursuing her and not only to enter Miss Jamaica Body Beautiful Contest for which I was a promoter but also to partner with me in opening Spartan Hell Club. However, I soon discovered that Cindy was ostracized by a substantial segment of uptown Jamaicans because Bob Marley, a Rastafarian, was her boyfriend. I was warned that Rastafarians would be hanging out on the grounds of Spartan and it would cost me memberships. Fortunately for me, I ignored these warnings. The reality is that Cindy, at the peak of her beauty and who had some of Jamaica's wealthiest bachelors pursuing her, chose Bob Marley and paid a high price for it socially. At the time, Bob was not yet a rich international star, though he would shortly become one. During the six months that Cindy was the manager at Spartan, I was struck by the close and loving relationship she and Bob shared. It was during this period that Bob was seen all over the place wearing the Spartan t-shirt. I had no doubt that he 
did this to promote Cindy and the club with which she was associated. I remember that when she got the invitation from Miss World for Cindy to enter their 1976 competition, Cindy was in New York with Bob. She was soon on a plane back to Jamaica with Bob's blessing and consent. After winning the Miss World title, Cindy spent the next year traveling the world doing her Miss World duties. On her return, she remained a friend and a member of Spartan. I vividly remember her coming into my office and breaking into tears while telling me that Bob had been diagnosed with cancer. With no disrespect to Rita, it seemed obvious to me that Cindy had replaced Rita as Bob's intimate partner and that only the music and ultimately Bob's illness and passing terminated the relationship between Cindy and Bob. It is therefore a farce and ridiculous to do a movie of, on the life of Bob Marley and exclude Cindy and Damien. So yes, my people, Mikey Spartan had a lot. <laughs> Yo, this man just give me a whole movie. <laughs> Honestly, though, I agree with him. I feel like him, them shouldn't left out or out type, but maybe they, they might try to, um, what do call it now, make Bob Marley image not look a certain way because, of course, some people are bash him, say, oh, him did marry to Rita and uh, him step out and rate and him did have too much woman and one bag of thing. So I think maybe uh, because of the image, but at the end of the day, if you're going to keep it 100 and be authentic to the fullest, then obviously you have to do the right thing. But anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. So the next thing we're going to talk about is Footer Hype reacting to a post that was made about him and Bounty Killer and also Mother the Zeno people. Now, a particular YouTube channel made up video, right? And the video is about um, an interview that Bounty Killer did, right? And during that interview, it was like Bounty Killer say, Yo, if I never for footer hype and flex, he would know my father. You understand me? I say, Because Bounty say, Yo, at them forward three man, say, Yo, I want you to check out the artist and your mother, you know, him bad and rate and Bounty Killer go so boom and, you know, tell them, say, All right, bring him on the ends and I so come Bounty and my father meet. So, you know, footer hype always felt good when Bounty goes and give him some form of glory in relation to things where him do. Where 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 they say where help another artist and of course Movado, one of the biggest dancehall artists, you definitely have to feel good, isn't it? So the um the title for the video did name Bounty Killer says Futa Hype is the reggae, is the dancehall and reggae maestro. Is it so Futa Hype goes on him, repost it and him say, Yo, whoever made this, I really appreciate it. Usually people only try to disrespect me on the internet to get clout. He used the wrong metaphor in one part, but this is a good look. So you don't know Futa feel good and things, say, eh? you know, they they, they. People are big him up then and not try to diss him because according to Futa Hype, people are always just try to tear him down and not give him no glory and all of them type of thing they eat. So, mm, that's a way I'm say. So, you know, I kind of like still the, the interview where them playing at the beginning of the video is a good interview. I went Bunty did a sit down with Wayne Marshall and I think Bambi you know, did up on it as well. I think so. But I like how Bunty not try to hide what Futa Hype did, even though him and Futa Hype, um, you know, them not talk to each other or whatever it may be, but at least you can still remember one what I'm doing. That's how I rate with Bunty and Futa Hype. Futa Hype always give Bunty respect whether them talk or not. So, big big them up said speed, is it? Anyway, my people, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. I'm out.